thank you for joining me here in this moment. My name is Christina. Um, I wanted to come on here to give you guys a grocery haul. So I just got back to the States yesterday and um, after spending nine long wholesome months in Costa Rica where I was sunbathing, eating just fresh tropical fruits and getting my swim on and also getting a lot of animal time, a lot of animal and nature time. Um, so yes, I am one day fresh in the States and I just went to the grocery store. I went to Whole Foods and I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I got from the grocery store um, just so that you guys can see how I'm going to be eating while I'm in the States. I think that it is important no matter where we are on the globe that we nourish our bodies with nutrient dense foods, foods that enliven us, foods that electrify us, foods that make us feel good. And so, yeah, I hope that um, you guys enjoy this video. Um, let me hop right into it. So first things first, I got some bananas. Now, when I was in Whole Foods, I saw some bananas and they were huge, guys. So if you're in the States and you're getting food, go for the food that is just smaller. So I got me some baby bananas. And you know your bananas are ready when they start to spot. So I got some bananas. And the bananas are really for my smoothies. Um, I think that when you're eating or going, going grocery shopping, it is important that you have like a plan of what you're going to be making, what you're going to consume, how you're going to consume it, what tastes good, and all of those things so that you go in knowing exactly what you're going to buy. It saves a lot of time in the grocery store. Sometimes people go in the grocery store and like they really don't know what to get, so they just get a whole bunch of stuff. So the bananas are for smoothies. Also for smoothies, I got some blueberries. You know, I got some mango chunks and I got some frozen strawberries. I chose frozen foods because they stay, um, you know, you can keep them longer. I like having cold smoothies and they're packaged uh, after they're picked, they're frozen. And so, uh, yeah, I just prefer frozen fruits um, for my smoothies. I also have some coconut milk for the smoothies. You know, this is gonna be what I'm eating in the rising. Okay, so next for salads, I got romaine. Oh, I keep calling this romaine. I, did, I just posted another video on my IGTV on Instagram and I call this romaine. This is kale. I got some kale and y'all, I took a, a bite of this kale earlier. It is delicious. I was kind of skeptical on, uh, about the quality of the fruits and vegetables here in the states because i'm like oh they're in the states and da, da da but that kale was pretty good i do got some romaine lettuce for salads uh green pepper i got some cucumbers hold on y'all i got some cucumbers i got some avocado i got some onion and with my salads i do season my salads you know i put some seasonings in there uh a squeeze of wine and I don't need no dressing you know I do also I have some great tomatoes for my salad I got some uh, seaweed I'm gonna put this in my salads eat this as a snack but uh one of the things that I definitely missed while I was in Costa Rica was seaweed this is my favorite snack I don't need no chips no nothing just give me some seaweed and I'm a happy gal okay Next, we have green juice. So I do plan on making a couple of green juices. I got some celery. And these are organic, guys. I got some celery. I'm also going to be putting lime in the green juice. I'm also going to be putting some uh, Granny, Smith, Granny Smith green apples in the green juice. I'm also going to be putting some cucumbers in the green juice. I'm also going to be putting some of this organic parsley in the green juice, guys. Um, and... I also got some distilled water. Now, why did I get distilled water instead of spring water? I don't know what spring they getting these waters from, you know? And I gotta do my research on some good water here in the States, but until then, until I can find some good water that I can trust, 
I got some distilled water. And what I do with my water is I just squeeze some lime in my water to electrify it. Also guys, um, that concludes all of the groceries that I have, but I also used a reusable bag when I went to the grocery store. Some grocery stores actually charge you for bags. Whole Foods, I know here in Louisville, Kentucky, they charge you for bags. Um, even if they didn't charge you for bags, guys, plastic bags are not good. They're no bueno for the environment, you know? So it's important that we have reusable bags, even the paper bags, you know, um, it's just consumption, you know, when you don't really need it. If you have a reusable bag, you just leave this in your car or take it with you when you're going to the grocery store. You put your groceries in it. This bag is used for groceries, laundry, all types of stuff, you know. But get you a reusable bag for the grocery store. Um, what else do I have? I also want to show you guys something that I brought from Costa Rica. It's a special gift. Um, I got some jackass bitters and I just had them on this plate drying um they have like a little blue clay on it from the bag that i put them in but it's all good but jack ass bitters are a great and amazing blood cleanser it's a bitter tea but it does great at cleansing the blood um you know alleviating the body of like any ailments or anything like that um so if you are having like a cold or if you are just not feeling well definitely get you some bitter teas because bitter teas are just so potent and powerful at detoxing the body you know um i think i showed you guys the green pepper <laughs> but that concludes well i won't say that concludes the video i guess i'll talk a little further um but i'm just so happy to be in the states and to see my family and it took me so long to make another YouTube video because I just did not know how I was going to be able to share with you guys. I didn't know what I was going to share. But I realized that the environment that I was in, I was in Costa Rica. And everyone in Costa Rica is on a health tip. Everybody in Costa Rica knows something about health and well-being and community. And so while I was there, I didn't feel called to teach. I didn't feel called to share because everyone already knew. Being back in the States, being around my family, seeing the community, seeing what the community needs or what I can offer the community, um, I realized that what I could offer my community was my knowledge on health and well-being. Um, what I could offer my community was my knowledge on self-care, a meditation, just how to take care of our temples, you know? And so I'm so happy to be in a place where I can actually share my gifts that I have been nurturing while I've been in Costa Rica share my gifts with my family the gift of health the gift of well-being that if we just change our diets if we just change the foods that we put in our bodies we can have health optimal health we can have clarity of mind we can be in good spirits and so these are the things that i want to share so um i also want to state that i do have services i do do mentor i do do <laughs> I offer mentorship services, Rise and Gold Mentorship Services. Um, I also do nature immersion retreats. And nature is everywhere. There's an abundance of nature here in the States too. Uh, so if you're interested in mentorship, if you're interested in doing a nature immersion retreat with me, if you're interested in inner child healing or anything like that, that sort of uh, clarity of mind, definitely book me, guys. Book me because I'm here to share these gifts with you um and yeah i think i hit on everything guys yes health is well there is no reason why we should be out here you know struggling struggling for any reason because we are so powerful powerful beyond measure and again sometimes it takes just little tweaks in what you put in your body you know to achieve that optimal health so I'm here to bring you this gift of health and wellness. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for, for supporting me, uh, for tuning in. Um, click the like button. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. This is just going to help to support and inspire me to keep it going. Um, and yeah, peace, loves.